So this one stock we're going to be talking about in today's video has been absolutely crushed over the past couple of trading weeks, guys. This stock has dropped 35% from its peak about a year, a year and a half ago, from the time that I'm recording this video. And this stock is ticker symbol MMM, also known as 3M Company. And 3M Company has just been doing very bad in terms of the stock's price over the past couple of weeks, like we said. And this is mostly due to a couple of different reasons. They slashed guidance for these upcoming two years. Their earnings per share this past quarter was terrible. Their sales were down. And revenue, quite frankly, over the past couple of years has been slowing down very, very dramatically for 3M. And there just hasn't been any growth whatsoever. Some people are arguing that the business has a structural problem right now, the way that it's ran, the way that it's operating, which can be a problem over the next couple of years. These are just a bunch of things that have been going on on top of, you know, the trade war with China, 25, roughly, I believe 25% of 3M's business is in China. So the, the relationship with the US, China, you know, the weakening economy in China in general, this is definitely having an impact on 3M over these past couple of weeks, especially since Trump slapped tariffs and they slapped tariffs back on us. You know, this has had a bunch of impact on a bunch of industrial companies out there including 3M and a lot of people actually talk about how industrials and this is actually something that has been researched into industrials end up falling towards the end of an economic cycle and we're noticing 3M and a bunch of other industrials are going down right now so take that for what you guys um, want to take it for, not saying that there is going to be a recession here in the next couple of months just because industrials are falling. Um, just saying, just this is just something to keep an eye on, right? So 3M is the stock we're going to be talking about right now. And on a technical basis, we're noticing here on the 90-day, two-hour chart, it's nothing but downtrending in terms of the simple moving averages and the moving averages that we use to do analysis on this channel. If we're hopping over here to the 184 hour chart, we're noticing a lot of the same, right? The, the moving averages, the SMAs, they're acting as resistances. But one thing I also want to point out here on an even longer term chart is the levels we are at right now, guys, we haven't been at these levels since 2016, I believe it was in the month of May, or not May, uh, September to October. Literally, it's been almost three years since 3M has been at this level. And if we're looking at a longer term chart here, take a look. It's a 35% drop from the $260 peak right here that we saw back in, I believe this was the beginning, yup, the beginning of 2018. So that is quite a drop. So what I'm waiting for right now is to see if 3M is going to find some sort of support level towards these levels that we were at a couple of years ago where we are right now, right? We're at the 165, 166 level of support roughly, you know, based on this trend line. And we can see just a couple of years ago, again, we were at that level. So it's going to be interesting. Are we going to maintain these levels for 3M? If we do and we end up breaking moving average resistances on the smaller time frame charts, this could be a huge breakout move to the upside that I'm personally waiting for to honestly take a swing trade position in 3M. And I'm also interested in actually adding some of this company into my long-term portfolio because there's a saying out there that goes, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. You know, sometimes when a company, a strong conglomerate company like 3M, when they are faced with some short-term headwinds, a lot of people they cloud their judgment and they forget the long-term play here, right? They're thinking 
too short term, that this is going to absolutely ruin the company, and they don't take advantage of these dip buy opportunities, quite frankly, right? We're seeing, again, like I talked about earlier in this video, we're seeing, you know, slowing EPS right now, slowing revenue, you know, the guidance for the next couple of years has been cut, but this is all short term. If you're looking 10 years out with the growing dividend this company has and the, and the price we're at right now, I think it gives gives us about a 3.5% starting yield. This could be a great entry if you're looking to live off of your dividends one 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 day maybe in 20 years for the growing dividend that this that this pretty much has to offer, right? So long-term investment, I'm potentially looking to build one in 3M here because I'm not a shareholder of long of 3M, but I, of course, have been tracking the company for a while now. Keep an eye on the company all the time, and I'm viewing this as a potential starting point for a long-term position. Again, due to it being down 35% and due to it offering pretty, pretty solid uh, starting yield and dividend yield growth, and again, Let's just go back to a little bit of a trading aspect here on a short-term trade, what I'm looking for in a bit of a deeper basis. So again, I'm looking for a break out of these moving averages. We're holding that support at 166, 168, which is very, very good. Now, I want to see a further push up into the 170s and for us, again, to test that 50 SMA and for us to test that next support, which is a resistance now at about 170. $72. If we break out of that level, this can be really the start of the uptrend reversal here on 3M. And just to signify how strong this support level is on 3M, let's take a look at the five-day, five-minute. We're noticing over the past five days, we were downtrending. We were downtrending, moving averages were resistance levels, we were making lower lows, lower highs, until we ended up finding that support at 166. We had a strong day of support on the 20th of May. This was on Monday. A second day of strong support, which was yesterday. We retested that level of support multiple times. And today, we retested it pre-market hours and at the market open. And we're pushing for highs at this point, right? We're actually getting out of the moving averages as resistances. And we're looking to just start reversing and start an uptrending pattern. So this five-day, five-minute, is quite encouraging for the reversal of 3M as of now. If we're looking at the 20-day, one hour, we are still under that 50 SMA resistance. So I would ultimately love to see a break out of that and a push upwards to, again, that level we just talked about at about $172, which if we were to break that resistance, that would be a huge, huge you know, upwards push for 3M that can really just change the trend here overall. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. 3M is just really, really attractive to me right now because when companies like this, they dip aggressively. It offers some opportunity on the long, long-term aspect. It offers some opportunity in day trading, the volatility. And it's also offering some short-term swing trading opportunities, right? Whether it be two, three weeks, a month, two months, three months. And 3M really does just offer a lot of opportunities. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about 3M. What do you think it's going to do in terms of price? Is it going to reverse? Is it going to fall? I would love to know. Know. If you want to keep in touch with our community, there are a couple links down below the Strive Smart Discord group chat, the Strive Smart Facebook group. Both of those are 100% free. You can follow me on Instagram, my personal Instagram, and the Strive Smart Instagram is linked down below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for watching. Peace out.